foreign traders were not required to register themselves as corvée laborers, unpaid labor. During wartime, however, they might be required to contribute money and military manpower. Another group in the UTS society was those who immigrated from the nearby kingdoms or states, or those who were rounded up after a war. Europeans were those who came as traders during the reign of Somdet Prat Ramatiburi II and eventually settled down in the Ayutthaya kingdom. This group consisted of Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch, British, and French. In addition to promoting the good foreign relationship with Ayutthaya, they had other hidden motives, to trade and to spread Christianity. The three main categories of Europeans were traders, priests, and missionaries, and adventurers, European traders were welcomed because they were the important source of profits for the crown, as well as the source of advanced knowledge and technologies. Ayutthaya kings allowed them to settle their residences in the southern part of the capital. They had freedom to practice their religion and to spread Christianity to Ayutthaya people. Their knowledge in advanced military and construction technologies had helped the Europeans to play significant roles in the Ayutthaya royal court such as volunteering as military personnel in the army, working in the harbor department, and being responsible for trades on behalf of Ayutthaya. The Ayutthaya society consisted of people from many races. Therefore, it was the melting pot of many cultures, which was the main factor in the many social developments throughout the Ayutthaya period.